To put away your saxophone, you're going to start with the case. Remember that you're looking for the brand name on the outside of your saxophone case. Mine says Bundy right here. Yours might say something different. The brand name always needs to be on the top of the saxophone case. You're going to lay it down on your lap or on the floor with the brand name on the top. Next, you're going to open the two buckles on the outside of the case to open up your saxophone. Remember that the first thing we always need to do when we put together our instrument is put our reed in our mouth to moisten it. You're going to want to give it plenty of time, so we do that first. You can take it gently out of the reed case. Remember, a reed's very fragile, so take it out gently. And you're going to put it in your mouth. And you're going to leave it in your mouth while you put the rest of the saxophone together. I'm going to take mine out right now so that you can understand me. The next thing that you're looking for is your neck strap. It might look something like this. And you're going to put it around your neck. And then we'll take out the body of the saxophone. It looks like this. When you hold the body of the saxophone, hold it down here. Usually by the bell is the best place to hold it so that you don't break any of the keys or bend them. I'm going to take my neck strap and I'm going to hook it onto the ring right on the back of my saxophone like this. So now the body of the saxophone is safe while I put the rest of it together. My saxophone has a plug in the top of it. Yours might also. You can take that out and put it in your case. And then you're going to find the neck of your saxophone. It looks like this. I'm going to gently twist it into the opening. If yours isn't going in, maybe you need to loosen the screw first. So you'll loosen the screw and then you'll be able to gently twist the neck of the saxophone in until it stops. Then just tighten up that screw so it's stable in the saxophone. Never hold your saxophone by the neck. This piece is not really attached very well and that might make you drop your saxophone. So always hold by the bell. Next, you're going to take out your mouthpiece. It looks like this. Mine has a cap on it. Maybe yours does too. You can leave the cap inside of your case. Then we'll also take off the silver part, which is called the ligature. You can slide it right off. And you're going to loosen the screws. Don't loosen them so much that they come out, but loosen them just a little bit. My ligature is wider on the bottom than it is on the top. When we put it on the mouthpiece, we're going to slide it down this way. Now we're going to take our reed. Your reed at this point should be in your mouth, getting wet. And we're going to take the ligature off of the mouthpiece and line up the reed on your mouthpiece like this. When your reed is in the correct place, there should just be a little black frowny face or maybe an upside down smiley face on the top over the reed. That's how you'll know it's in the right place. Then with the wider end down, you're going to slide the ligature down over your reed and tighten it. So if the reed is in the correct place, your mouthpiece and your reed should look like this. You'll see the little black upside down smiley face right on the end above the reed. Next, I'm going to take my mouthpiece ligature and reed and I'm going to gently twist them onto the cork at the end of my saxophone like this. You'll notice that I'm not going to twist it all the way to the end. We don't need to cover up the whole cork. I still have some cork exposed. If your cork is really sticky, you might want to add some cork grease at this point. So please practice putting your saxophone together independently.